Have you ever wanted to automate something in your house, but you didn't know where to start or where to begin? Well, you've come to the right video. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about home automation system or home automation with the TP-Link Casa Smart devices. So what I have here is four different devices. And what we're gonna talk about in this video is what these devices are, how much they cost, what you need in addition to this, which you don't need anything, so I'll start right there, but also how to get these set up as well as what the app looks like and what are the different things that you can do with these and automate them with. So let's get started. So I've come to find out that a lot of people I talk to about home automation, they're kind of scared about it because usually start talking about hubs and more money and the price. And it kind of gets, your head gets flooded with a bunch of things and it gets kind of scary. Now with the cost of smart devices from TP-Link, they make it a little bit easier for you because for one, you don't have to have a hub. You don't need a hub at all. Everything's done in the cloud. And so you can buy devices and add as you go. Now, if you are worried about getting all these devices set up and then you're like, wait a second, I need something a little bit more advanced. If you're worried about upgrading in the future, what's really great about these is they allow you to do that too because they also work with uh, Amazon Alexa, Google Assistant, as well as SmartThings, and even they work with Home Assistant. Home Assistant and SmartThings are kind of the next gen or next uh, thing to step up to for home automation. Smart things are probably the next step, I think, in my eyes, but then Home Assistant gets a little bit um, more difficult to work with, but also it expands your options and variety. Uh, smart things is a good um, intermediate step for, for most people. So that's really nice is if you get started with these and using their app, and if you decide, I want to automate more things and get a little bit more complicated on my automations, uh, Casa Smart from TP-Link allows you to do that even though you already have these set up with their app. So to kind of give you an idea of what I use some of these Casa products for is, well, what's great is Christmas is coming up. So what's the biggest thing out there to automate? You want your Christmas lights on your outside of your house and inside the house to automate, at least I did. So what I do is I automate my outside Christmas lights to turn on at sunset and turn off at sunrise. And then also my Christmas tree inside my house, it gets turned on at 5 p.m. and then it gets turned off at 10 p.m. So that way it's not on when I'm trying to sleep as well as not on during the day when I'm not home. And if I wanna turn it on during the day, say it's a Saturday or a Sunday, or maybe I'm home during the day, I can autom automatically turn those on, or not automatically, but I can manually turn them on or each individual device that I want through the app or even on the device they have a button that you can use to, to manually work it. Another thing too is outside lights. I, I think everybody should automate their outside lights. First of all, security wise, it's good to have outside lights on at all times when it's dark out. So that's what they come out with the light switch here. I, I install the light switch and it automates all the outside lights. And so when it's sunset, it turns my outside lights on, sunrise turns them off. So it's really nice, it acts like I'm home. You can also do that with any indoor outlet as well as their outdoor outlets. You can modify those to uh, turn on times at night when you're gone on vacation, or you can you can do whatever you want as far as when things come on and off. They give you quite a wide variety of things that you can do with them, so that's really nice to have. Now let's talk about each individual product here that we have, as well as pricing. Now I'm pretty sure I am on the money with the pricing. I will tell you this, with Black Friday coming up and Christmas coming up, that there's gonna be a lot of sales. I know they have a lot of sales on these as it is. So if you wanna go ahead and check out the current pricing, click on my links below for each of these devices to check out current pricing, as well as it'll link you to the direct product that we're talking about. So let's start over here with the outdoor switch. Uh, this is an out outlet that goes outdoors and it's waterproof. So it has one outlet that plugs into the wall and then it gives you the ability to plug two devices into this. So if you're outside lights, you can plug two different types of outside lights into this and you can automate them individually. And then also has a button on the top for each to manually turn on. This also, I forgot to say the price of this one. This I think is $30 uh, for retail price. So it's not too bad. Then they have right here's four indoor outlets. What's nice about these is when you buy more outlets, the more outlets you buy in a pack, the better deal you get. These are 30 bucks, I believe two, yeah, 30 bucks. And if you buy two of them, it's not half price. It's a little bit more. It's like 60 or 70% of that price. So you do get a deal for going for four of these. And then these also have a manual switch on them too. Then we have the outdoor or 
indoor light switch, but it'll turn on outdoor uh, lights or anything like that. So this is just a on off switch. And what this requires is a, uh, the white wire, which is the neutral wire. So if your switches don't have a neutral wire, you will not be able to use these. You have to have a neutral wire. From my understanding, I'm pretty sure, uh, about 99.9% .9 sure. If you're questioning on installing this, I would get somebody that you know that can install a light switch. This one is, I think, $19.99 or $20, uh, so per light switch. They also have three-way light switches, as well as, I think they have a dimmer switch too. So I'll link those in the description below too, so you can check those out. And then we have a new product for them, which is their dimmer outlet for the outdoors. So this one plugs into the wall, but it doesn't have two outlets, it's got one. And with this one, you're gonna be able to dim any lights with this on the outside. So it's really nice for outside in the backyard or uh, anywhere that you wanna dim lights. And this one is $25. And it's a little bit cheaper than this one, but this one gives you two outlets to automate. So kind of gives you uh, double for your money than this one. It's just, this one has a dimmer switch and this one does not. I'm gonna go ahead and get these boxes open. I'm gonna show each device and show you what it looks like. Kind of give you a quick preview of what it looks like. And then we're gonna add some of these to the app on my phone so I can show you what the app looks like and kind of how to set automations up a little bit. So that way you can understand of what you're getting yourself into. So here's the dimmer switch or the outdoor dimmer switch. And so here's the manual switch here and the light will light up when you have it plugged in and it's on. Also give you kind of a rubber piece here so that way you can cover up the outlet when not in use. And then the cord is about six inches. Then here is the outdoor outlet as well. This is the non-dimmer one. This one comes with two outlets. You can see here. And then each individual switch here. You have plug one, plug two labeled here so you can know which one's which. Again, about six inches for the, the length of the cord here. Here is the switch. So they do provide you a, uh, I can't get it off maybe, maybe I can, a wall plate with no screws, so that's kind of nice. But they do provide you that as well, but you can use your own if you want to. But here is what it looks like. It is kind of deep, so make sure that you have enough room in your switch box or the electrical box that you're gonna put it in. Then they provide you wire nuts, and then they also have the two screws so you can screw the switch into your outlet box or your light switch box. And here is one of the indoor outlets. So you can see here, there's the power on and off. So if you manually want to turn it on and off, you can tap that, but you would plug this into the wall and then you would put, plug your device or a uh, power strip into this. And this is really nice for automating any lights or any devices inside your house. Now that I've got a few of these switches on my Casa app ready to go, I wanted to mention that getting them paired to the app was pretty easy. It does take a little bit of time per device and you want to make sure that when you get it paired, you want to be near the device. So if you're going to put the outlet in an area where you can't really get to or close to, I would go ahead and pair it near you or in an easier outlet before you do that. And then once it's paired and named and all that, then you can plug it into where it's going to go for permanent location. So the easiest thing is once you get the power, the device powered, it's gonna start blinking and it's gonna ask you what colors is it blinking, if it matches. Then you're gonna move forward and it's gonna try to allow you to connect to the Wi-Fi. So it's gonna omit a Wi-Fi signal via the device and you try to connect to that. Once you do that, then it's gonna ask you if you wanna connect to your network for the device. So you plug in the passcode for your network and then it just takes that information and sends it from your phone into the device and programs it that way. Once that's done, it'll allow you to name the app or name the, the device, as well as put an icon or a picture of what it is. And so let me show you what the app looks like and what I've set up so far and kind of cruise around, show you around. So here's the main portion of the app. And as you can see, I've got a blow up snowman outside, a Christmas tree inside and my garage Christmas lights. It alphabetized it, so they're not really grouped. Uh, you should be able to group them how you want them, but I didn't group these. At the top, you got a plus sign on the top right, and this will allow you to add a device or a group if you wanted to. So let's go add device, and then you choose which device you want. So maybe smart plugs, then you find the smart plug that you're gonna be adding. So in this instance, we added a outdoor plug as well as one of the plug light minis. So we already did that, so we don't need to do that, but that's how you would add a 
separate device or continue to add more devices. So right now you can see the current state of these devices and right now they're off. So if I wanna go ahead and turn my blow up snowman, I tap the on button there and it highlights it. Uh, the snowman is now in color and not black and white. So that lets you know it's on and you have the on switch is now green. So you can manually turn it on and off. Also, I have these, like I said, I automate my Christmas tree and stuff inside as well as outside. So you can see there's a little schedule below the name as well as 4.58 p.m. on. So that means at 4.58 p.m. today, that should be sunset for me and it will turn those devices on. So you can see each of the devices are set to turn on at that time. So at the very bottom, you have devices, which we're on, cameras, if you have any cameras from TP-Link, scenes, smart actions, and activity, so you can check and see what the activity is. And so they have scenes here. What's really nice about scenes is you can make a good morning scene, good night, movie night, you can customize it. Uh, so get an example of a movie night, say you have a dimmer switch in your living room or your movie room, and you want certain things to happen. So say you guys are getting nice and relaxing, getting cozy for a movie, you hit movie night, and all of a sudden, the lights dim to your what you specified, and then maybe like runway lights on the outside of your room turn on, so it makes it easier to see, kind of like a movie theater. So you can customize that to your heart's content. Uh, good morning, good night's usually used for on and off during morning and night. Um, maybe you have a nighttime routine. Maybe the nighttime routine is to turn on, like I have a daughter and she's got some night lights on, she's got a butterfly light, and then she's also got a little night light. And so we have that turn on at 7 p.m. every night and then it turns off at sun uh not sunset but sunrise so that way that lights those lights are on for when she's sleeping i don't i don't even have to mess with turning them on and off and then you have smart action so this allows you to do get a little bit more involved in some of the smart home automation you have motion sensing control with a switch schedule a scene auto off timer you can do some of this stuff and, and elsewhere in the uh, the app but this allows you to turn things on for a certain amount of time for motion sensing using their cameras and whatnot kind of allows you to automate things a little bit further than just on and off at certain times so how you automate things is you can set up a scene if you wanted to and then also you can tap into the device or the switch and here you can turn on and off manually if you wanted to you can set a schedule so this one has a schedule set up so you set a schedule for on or off at sunrise and on for sunset. You can schedule it down to the day and you can also do a certain time if you wanted to and remove it if you wanted to. Then you can also do a timer if you wanted to. And right now you can say after an hour, turn on the device or after an hour, turn off the device. Then you have an away feature. So this is really nice. Uh, you have, an, if you have a lamp in your house or maybe an, a light switch uh, for the upstairs light and you guys are away for the weekend or a, a vacation i'm said christmas trip but vacation I got christmas on my mind but vacation or anything like that you can set between uh 5 p.m or whatever you want between certain times to uh start the way mode and once you start that mode it will start automating to turn the device on and off at random times so it looks like somebody's home we're going to stop that right now but it'll allow you to start in away mode and that way when you're on your vacation, no one can see or understand the wide lights going on, on and off, they think you're home. And then you have runtime, so you can tell how long the device has been running. Uh, current run time, average day, daily average um, from the last seven days and last 30 days. So that way you can monitor if someone's turning it on manually, you can monitor how much time is being used. So like right now, the current run time for this is 0.02 hours since I've been, I installed it. So when you install these devices, It'll allow you to name them and then pick a icon like I mentioned. So these are kind of what's really nice is the kind of icons I really needed. I think it actually picked based on what I put in for the name. It kind of gave me an idea of what it might, what you might like. So that's kind of cool uh, with that. Then you're going to be able to update firmware in the there's three hamburger area. It allows you to get more information about your account as well as update any firmware for each of the devices when necessary. So there you have it on kind of a beginner entry level uh, style home automation. I don't want it to sound like I'm saying that this is for beginners because it's not necessarily for beginners. Each device on how you use it, if that's all you want to do is automate how when it comes on and off 
and certain little things, then yeah, this is great for you because you don't have to spend extra money on a hub or deal with the headaches of a hub. But this is really great for people that don't want a hub or don't want to automate past uh, on and off and uh, certain little things. They want to, they want it simple and easy to use and they want to make it easy for everybody that's in their household to be able to use it. So I, I don't want to make you shy away because you think maybe that, oh, that's a beginner's thing because it, it technically really is not. It's a more economical way to start automating your home. And it also gets you into automating stuff. And, and once you decide what you want to do, because I think that's one of the biggest things that everybody runs into is they don't understand and know what they want to automate until they start doing it. And then when they start doing it, then that comes the downfall of, oh crap, now I'm ordering all these switches and whatnot and everything start to get, starts to get automated. But either way, the prices of these are pretty cheap. Like I said, I list them in the description below so you can check them out and current pricing because they may be on sale. A lot of these are on sale a lot, of, a lot of the times I've seen. If this video helped you out in any way, please leave me a like. If you have any questions, comments, or opinions about what I talked about, I'd be happy to help you. Uh, go ahead and put it in the comments section below. I, I'd really like to hear from you on what you want to use. And if you have any questions about capabilities of this, I, I'd love to chat with you. So go ahead and put that below, as well as my uh, social media links were at the beginning of this video too. If this is your first time to my channel, please consider subscribing and I will see you next time.